Hey guys, so today what I'm going to be showing you is how to take these simple images and turn them into a functional animated sprite on Unreal Engine 4. So first things first, what we're going to do is open a new page. Um, for this, what I'm going to do is open a page that is going to be in pixels. We're going to have the width as 64 and the height as 32. I'm going to change the resolution to 72. Um, and I'm going to go create. Alright, and let's move in a bit. Alright, you can see there I've got grid lines in the background. Um, what I'm going to want to do is go to view. Um, this may or may not work, it's been really interesting. So I've got these grid lines there, so I've selected grid and pixel grid. I'm going down to preferences, guidelines and... Ooh, Guidelines, grid, and slices. I'm going to go pixels one by one. Double check this. Preserve hard edges is what we want. It's normally set on by Cumic Automatic. And go OK. So you can see there, it actually gives me um, cubes that are way too small. Um, so instead of having that, I actually prefer not to. If it did work, it would be all well and good. Um, so what I'm going to do is get rid of grid. Drop D to deselect. Um, so now I've got my nice white canvas here. So um, like I showed you before, I made a, um, a little potion. So I'll show you again how to make that. Because it's something simple and lots of games have them. Or some version of it. So whether it's a health pack, potion, any kind of pickup, um, I'll show you how to make a nice animation for that. Um, so first things first, what I'm going to do is make the glass that's around the... Now, its class is generally clear, um, but we can't do that, obviously, because this is pixel art. So what I'm going to do is make, what's that, 5, cross 1, 4, 5, cross 1. So it's important to count, and obviously with pixel art, adding in um, these on the corners is what makes it into a circle. Um, next step, I'm going to go up by 3, and then adding just like that. So we've got our basic shape. Um, another thing I can do, but I don't think I'm going to do, okay, is get rid of that one in the middle. So I've got that now. Next thing I'm going to quickly do is add a stopper. And I've got my stopper there as well. Um, so yeah, we've got our glass, we've got our stopper, let's add some stuff to the inside. Um, now I've got green here, you can see this, um, the colour I've got over the right here, I like to have it nice and bright. So if I add this in here, and we'll have a nice green potion. So I've got the base there done. I want to make it look like there's a bit of shadowing. So what I'm going to do initially is switch back to my brown. I'll do it on the top because that's probably the easiest. I'm actually going to go a bit lighter brown and add it to this side. So I'm going to have my light source, my sun essentially, or light is over here, um, shining onto my product. Okay. Um, so now I need to do that same thing for the green. So if I swap that over to green, go one down here, and I can add some there, and then go another one down, and add another one so I'm getting my shadow in. Um, it normally doesn't sit nicely like that. I don't, well, I don't believe that it would sit nicely like that. So because it's going to be an animation, it's going to be moving around a little bit. So I'm just going to add some ups and downs in it. Uh, we'll get rid of that and we'll add one there. It's always good to have things a little bit off center. Um, if we're going to add a bit of, um, on this side, we need to make sure we keep up with the shadowing as well. Um, all right, cool, and then we'll add one more as well on that side. All right, so still a little bit flat, which I'm not super stoked about. Um, so I'm gonna just quickly, it does take a little bit of fiddling. Um, I know it seems a little bit pedantic, but it's nice to get a, a shape that you like. Um, that. I'm gonna quickly go there. Alright, so that's cool there. Now what we're quickly going to do is unlock our layer. And we're going to open that and we're going to duplicate layer. It's a lot like a previous video that we did on um, creating GIFs. Now I'm on the new layer, so I can grab that and we're going to move it across. 
All right, and this is another way that you can double check the size and you're just kind of altering what's already there. Um, and then control D to deselect that. And so now I've got two identical ones and I can start altering this so the stuff inside it moves around. Um, first things first, I like to take it down a little bit and then I can alter from there. So again, we're gonna grab some of this light green. And so now it's, it's gone up this side, so now it's gonna go up the other side. That one there, that's moved over a little bit, um, and then we'll move this side up as well. And finally, last bit. Okay. We also though, because we try, you do try to always keep it consistent. So the amount in there now looks like there's too much. So I'll quickly get rid of some of that, like. So, all right, cool. Uh, now let's make another one. Generally like to have approximately four. Grab that one. And let's move him over. All right, last one. No, second last one. Just said I like there to be four and then I said that's the last one. That makes more dollars than cents. Okay. So now we might put one in the middle. We've had this side being up a bit, a little bit in the middle there, and that side being down. So let's do it the other way around. Thing is though as well, we might grab some of these colors and put them up in the air now. And then last one. Don't like how that's so uniform. So what you some what yeah I'm gonna do is actually add another one there and get rid of that one in the middle. So now it's moved across. All right, Control D to deselect. Let's make another one. All right, final one. Um, and we're going to have it similar to the first one. Not the same, um, but similar-ish. Cool, and I haven't used, so that's similar to that, it's reasonably high. And we are done, so cool. So now I've got my four different images, Control D. Now I've got them together. Um, if I do need to go back and change every any, I can obviously go through my layers and do that, but I'm pretty happy with that for this tutorial. So now I'm gonna go through and select them all and right click, and we're gonna merge those layers together. Um, and that's because we need to get rid of the background if we're going to import it onto Unreal Engine. And then just using the quick selection tool, I've got all of those selection selected, sorry, and layer mask it like that. So I'm happy with that. Um, file, save, save that as potion sprite. Uh, we can save it as a normal Photoshop file. I'm going to go OK, and then we're going to save it as a PNG as well. Alright, PNG, smallest, quickest, etc, etc. OK, so we'll save that. OK, so now if I open up Unreal Engine, you've got some games that I've previously made. Go to New Project and Create Project, because it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you how to import this into it. Hopefully it's opened reasonably quickly which it looks like it is, which is awesome. Um, and you can see there we've got our basic project uh, basic project with some starter content in it um, that you can click on, move around. There's not heaps of stuff, so it just kind of helps you see the program. So what I'm going to do is click over here, and we've got starter content, lots of different stuff there. What I'm actually going to do, because I'm just showing you how to bring this in and create an animation, um, is I'm going to right-click here, make a new folder, 
right. Um, and just another learning thing, if you're going on this, then I go potion, I have to then go underscore sprite. Um, just because I'm probably going to reiterate this in every video where I make something on Unreal Engine. Um, you need to make sure you're making appropriate file names. And now if I open this up, and we'll drag in our potion sprite. Okay, and you can see there how it's all spread out to the edges because it doesn't have a background and stuff like that. So if I right click on it though, and go up to sprite actions and go apply to to um, 2D paper texture, you can see there it then puts it all back together and I then need to go here and go extract sprites. And you can see there how it's got the yellow squares around each of my little sprites. Obviously a little too because they're a pickup. You could make your squares 64 by 64 size to make your player that's then going to pick these up. But I didn't by any means make these the size of the 32 um, pixel area. So I've got those and I'm going to say extract. So then I've got all my different sprites. Now without deselecting them, you actually see there it's kept all the pixelation really nicely too. It's one of the positives is I create flipbook. And this is where this becomes quite similar to Photoshop. Um, potion sprite 1, that's cool. Because if I double click on that, you can see that it's very quickly moving through. I've actually got one bit of white there that I might have to go through and change. So I'm going to do that now. Quickly go back. Or not. Can't see it, so it might be a problem with that. Alright, let's try making these a bit bigger to slow it down a little bit. Four. Okay, so we've got our animation. Um, it does still have that little white dot, so I'm actually quite confused by that. So let's have a quick look. It's the one where it's higher down here. There's nothing there. Nothing hidden. Nah. Alright, well that's obviously just a bug with my version, but anyway. We have our um, sprites that we've created and then imported into Unreal Engine. So hopefully this has helped you out. Um, I know it's quite basic, but it's always good to start with the basic stuff first. So hopefully you've learned something and enjoyed the